Hi there, this is Tina Hughes from buildawebsitetonight.com. In this quick video, I'm going to show you the very easiest way to add a thick border to a WordPress image. Now what this means is if you have a website that is using wordpress.org hosted on your own space, then you can log into WordPress and upload images and I'm going to show you how to add that border. Okay, let's pop over to one of my websites. On this page I have a small photo here at the top in the middle and I'm going to add a thick black border to it. Now the amount of pixels that you add to it are entirely up to you but I like to add between 40 and 60 pixels. So let's go into the WordPress dashboard and see how to do this. Here I am in the WordPress website. Now what I've done once I'm at the dashboard and the dashboard you can see is the button up here in the top left once I'm actually inside the dashboard I can select different things. At the moment I've clicked on pages because I have a page and that's where the image appears. Then I've uh, landed on a series of pages and chosen the one I wanted. After I click on the link for that specific page I can then see this information. Now I can click on the image to select it and something else I'm going to do that's very cool that you might not have done yet. See this little button here? This is called Show or Hide the Kitchen Sink. I'm going to click on that and that gives me extra menu items. Very cool. Something else you might not know, right next to the kitchen sink is full screen mode. I'm going to click on this little icon that looks like a computer screen and that takes me into what's known as full screen mode. Now it's easy to get out of that. Uh, don't panic, I'll just move the screen down a bit to get out of it you just click on the same button again okay so here we are I'm going to click on my image now once you've uploaded your images you then have an option to select them and then you'll get this little icon here which allows you to edit so I'm going to click on edit gives me an indication of what the photo looks like now I'm going to I'm going to select the advanced settings at the top here to see more information. Now here I can scroll down and it says image properties border 1. I'm going to change that to 40. And then I'm going to click the update button which is just here below that. Now you can see that the image has 40 pixels surrounding it. That might be a bit much. I'm going to go back in by clicking once, selecting it, and depending on the size of your photo or your image, I'm going to change the image properties to 20. Oops. 20. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of this window, click on the update button. Ah, oh, that looks a bit better. Yes, I like that. Okay. Now I'm going to put that in the center of the page and I'm going to just select the text I want to move and click center. Move that to the center of the page. Now to save this information and to publish it you need to go out of full screen mode. So up to the top here I'm going to click on the full screen mode button, go back to normal screen and then over here on the right hand side I can click the update button. Now I've popped over to the live page and I'm going to refresh this. On my Mac I can do Command R on your PC, you can do Control R. The image now has a border of 20 pixels all the way around and the text I selected has been indented. That's it for today's lesson. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you haven't signed up for my hot tips, please do so on the website by clicking on or filling in your details here on the left hand side. That's it from Tina Hughes saying cheerio from buildawebsitetonight.com.